Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, in this video, we want to talk about the short-term bullish and short-term bearish scenario on the ETH chart. The yellow count is the one that should send us down to 2,975 and the white count um, in the white count, the way for correction in which we still are as per the yellow count that actually completed already on the 20th of March. That requires further evidence, however, and the, the yellow count still seems to be leading. I mentioned in my last updates, that the yellow count seems more likely, even though probabilities are very balanced and I'm very hesitant to commit to either scenario without seeing a breakout first. Okay, and we talk about these clear parameters right now. Um, yellow, again, yellow seems more likely. There's absolutely no strength here at the moment, but that can easily change, okay? Um, looking at the yellow count, it is a structure in which the price is still in the way for correction we might test 2,976 before completing the correction. And we're dealing with an A, B, C structure. And that C wave, yeah, might send us to 2,975, maybe even a little lower. 2,789 is the next level, but that is already below the support area. I'd like to, to avoid that, okay? Just be aware it is possible and uh, actually not unlikely. Now, why is the yellow count a little bit more likely maybe? It is a little bit more likely because we've seen a five wave decline, quite an obvious five wave decline into the Wednesday low. And then we've seen a corrective rally that did land in my resistance area, which I've now taken off the chart. But you might remember that from the last updates, we had a resistance area here. The price got rejected perfectly at the golden ratio level and the price just respecting this. And then we saw another decline yesterday, but haven't taken out Wednesday's low. That needs to be taken out to further confirm the yellow count. And then, um, but the rally was again, very corrective, very, very corrective. So if you ask me about a micro count for the yellow scenario, well, it is quite um, clear, I think. One, two, three, four, five. And we might land at 3,208. So for the yellow count to remain clearly valid, the price needs to rally, no, not rally, break down to 3,210 next, which is structural and Fibonacci support. To maintain this nano structure here, the price needs to hold below yesterday's high, no, today's high, that is, um, at 3,550. This year, and if this is a third wave of a third wave, this should be a rapid decline. That's how we can clearly validate the yellow count. It should be a third of a third wave. And um, yeah, I mean, the, invalid the first invalidation point is today's high. That's not enough to clearly favor the white count. But if we then break above 3,617, the yellow count as it is will become less likely. And the break above the 3,730 level, which is the Monday high, will clearly invalidate the yellow count as it is and will clearly favor white. I, as I said, I'm very, very hesitant to commit to either scenario. Clearly at the moment, yellow seems to be in control. That can easily change. The market has really only been moving sideways since yesterday, but corrective price action suggests that we haven't seen the lowest point of this correction yet. Then again, I have to say, oh man, you know, <laughs> the move up could be a diagonal and that's just a corrective structure. All right, and it, okay, no, the diagonal is not a corrective structure, but the subwaves can be, and the subwaves likely are, well, they have to be. And therefore it's, you know, we don't necessarily rely on five waves to the upside to confirm that um, a low is in. So it's tricky. It's really tricky. It really depends on. That's why I focus more on the support and resistance levels and the key parameters and breakout points here. But there's just this ambiguity and really this key juncture here on the micro level. You see, one is going up, one is going down. So a lot of people will say, oh, it's going up or down. Well, yeah. But you have very clear parameters to watch. And the question is always, do you have a strategy for it's going up or down? And not only that, the analysis obviously tells us probabilities are balanced, which is a great finding of an analysis. But zooming out provides a clear picture that there are clear levels here on the larger scale and we are still in a bullish market um, because this is counted as a correction. So as we go lower and finish the C wave, there might be a great buying opportunity. We are anyway in the larger support zone in orange, which is an overall accumulation phase. 
Just be aware that normally I would say below 2,976, this is failing, but the projection actually points to 2,789, so we might go a little bit below that support area in this wave four. Yeah, that's the 100% extension of the C wave, which doesn't have to be reached, but it's quite uh, common that it's reached. Yeah, so these are the levels to watch, and so at the moment we just, we haven't broken out either way, so it could literally just be a prolonged sideways phase, um, I need the market to give us some signals, really, yeah, and the analysis tells us what those signals are, but we haven't seen them yet, and um, it is it is likely that if Bitcoin chooses the upside pathway, Ether might be dragged with Bitcoin, but it's much weaker than Bitcoin at the moment. So yeah, not really any wiser than yesterday, so hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership also. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.